De Praedestinatione Sanctorum, Episode 2. Ego autem quam vis me moleste fere confitiar, quod divinis eloquiis quibus de igratia predicatur, quiam nino nulla est, si secundum merita nostra datur, tam multis manifestis quen non cedetur, vestrum tam in studium fraternam qua delectionem, fili carissimi prosper et hilari, qua eos qui tale sunt, ite non vultus erdrardra ut postot libros de hac re vel epistolas meas, ad huc me desideretis hinc scribera, tantum amo, quantum non passum dicera, et tantum me amara, quantum debeo, non audio dicera. Here Augustine continues his argument. He says, Ego autem quam vis, but I, although, and this begins a subordination, although I confess, confitiar, that I moleste fere, I am quite bothered, what is he quite bothered about? That's the quote. I am bo quite bothered that divinis eloquiis, and this is neuter, plural, and dative from eloquium, the singular, that to the divine words, the divine speech, this would be the scriptures, the scriptures in which the grace of God is preached. And we have to go all the way here to cadetur uh, to find the verb that is patterning with divinis eloquiis that it is not yielded. Now, this verb is being taken impersonally. In other words, that no one yields, or not everyone yields, to the divine words. These are the divine words in which the grace of God is preached. Quae. Now, the antecedent of quae is gratia. Which grace, omnino nulla est, is no grace at all, or is not grace in any fashion, omnino. And omnino is the adverb of the adjective omnis which is no grace whatsoever, if, datur, it is granted in accordance with, or with respect to, our merits. So here in this parenthetical, marked so by the editors at least, Augustine sets out the main point of the entire argument. If grace is given, gratia datur, with respect to our merits, it is not grace at all, omnino. So he says, I confess that it bothers me quite a bit, moleste, that there is no yielding to the divine words, even though they are so numerous and obvious. Tam multis manifestisque, nevertheless, tamen. So, quam vis tamen, those are the key hinges of the entire sentence. Nevertheless, vestrum studium, your zeal, paternamque delectionem, your brotherly love, my dearest sons, Prosper and Hilarius. Now begins a subordination, which Qua introduces, and it ends with Scribera. The antecedent of this feminine ablative singular, Qua, is Delectionem. It is a love by which you so much do not want, non Vultus, you so much do not want those who are such as might do so, that's Eos Quitale Sunt, you so much do not want them to make a mistake, to be in error, errara, that as a result, notice how Ita sets up the ut result clause, that after so many books on this topic, de hoc re, or even so many letters of mine, you still desire that I write something, ad hoc me desideratus, on this topic. Now the main verb, amo, I love your zeal and your brotherly affection, as much as I cannot express, and I do not dare to say that I love it, tantum quantum debeo, as much as I ought. 